If you guys didn't already know, this is part 4 of what if Issa was betrayed and trapped in the dimensional gap. Anyways, let's get back to the story. The story continues with everybody in shock that Issa just killed the leader of the underworld, Sir Zex Lucifer. None other than Michael, the Archangel of Heaven, was the first to take action and immediately teleported away with all of his allies to fled the premises because Issei was clearly too dangerous. Of course, the governor of the Fallen Angels, Azazel, would soon follow up as well by creating a transportation circle and getting out of there as fast as he could because he knew that Issei Hyoto would kill them all. Lord Odin, the Norse god, didn't move much and has not said a word the whole entire time. Odin was thinking in his head that Loki was supposed to be the party crasher, but this boy was instead. Issei, in the middle of the room, was just looking into the air. His mind was empty and he felt as strong as ever. Boom! Then a sudden transportation circle appears and it catches the attention of Lord Odin immediately. It was none other than Hades himself, the ruler of the realm of the dead. Hades didn't even look at Odin and immediately started talking to Issei filled with anger. I sensed a power that was banished many years ago. The gods decided that any person with this power would have to answer to us. A mortal should not wield three dragons, but you also killed Sir Zex, who I strongly disliked. I will give you a chance, mortal. Join me and we will rule the world or perish with the rest of your mortal friends. Issei doesn't even say a word to Hades. Issei turns around and looks at Hades with a cold stare. A stare that would frighten even the strongest of gods. A stare that was voidless of emotion. Hades got shivers down his spine from seeing the way the boy looked at him with such anger. But then Hades quickly reacted and said once again, Listen to me now. It's either you stop this madness or you start a war with every single god in existence. This is my final warning, child. Before responding, Issei was thinking to himself. Issei heard about Hades from Great Red before. Apparently, he is one of the top 10 strongest beings in the entire universe. Issei knows that if he kills Hades, he will send a message to all the other gods that he is not one to be trifled with. Hades interrupts Issei's thinking and says, I have allied myself with all the most powerful gods, mortal. Even one being the likes of the almighty Zeus. You even dare challenge me or kill me, the gods will have your head. Ha! Huh. So you're saying if I kill you, I start the next world war. Maybe you should leave before I actually decide to kill you. The last thing I would do is ally myself with a scum only wanting to rule over the world. You dare threaten a god. You will suffer for this, child. I gave you a chance and you didn't even take it. I'm going to kill you myself. My existence is a sin, huh? How amusing. It seems to me like all of you gods are threatened by me. Why is that? Enough talk. I am going to kill you and everybody you love soon after. You'll die before you even get a chance to touch them. With enough words being said between the two, the fight finally commences. Hades fires multiple blasts at Issei, but Issei easily dodges the blast with relative ease. I'll give you credit, mortal. That's good, but not good enough. Hades then charges at Issei and punches him in the face, sending him flying into the ground. Issei immediately stands back up and says, Forbidden Balance Breaker! Issei then charges at Hades and attempts to hit him, but Hades dodges the attack and sends Issei flying back down onto the ground with a straight drop kick to the head. Hades starts talking and says, You're going to have to do better than that if you're going to defeat me, mortal! In fact, I've made my decision. As soon as I'm done with you, I will go to your parents' house and show them your dead body. And then I'll kill them as well! <laughs> with hearing those very words, Issei finally reached his breaking point and started to say, Leave my family out of this! Why should they have to die for some pieces of shit's entertainment? And just like that, one of the limiters that Bahamut placed on Issei began to snap. The ground started to shake, and lightning was coming from the sky. Issei's anger started to affect the whole entire galaxy, in fact shaking it. 
Bahamut, Dreg, and Albion were finally able to get through to their partner, after being blocked for some reason ever since Hades arrived on the battlefield. Bahamut immediately starts saying to his partner, Listen partner, if you break this limiter it will combine me and Albion's power. You cannot handle this power yet, don't do it partner, don't! Hades was watching in awe as the boy transformed into something that he would fear even more than death itself. Issei could not hear his dragons at all, and his mind was in complete rage. He was so sick of the bullshit, from being betrayed to having his parents threaten to be murdered. Issei finally lost his shit. Issei then says the forbidden words, Welch Dragon Obliteration Breaker! Then, in a flash, Issei appears in white and black armor. His aura was so immense that even Michael could feel it up in heaven. His presence in this form changed the weather and caused every tectonic plate on Earth to move. Issei looked up at his opponent Hades and teleported right behind him. Hades could no longer keep track of Issei's speed in this weird form that he was in. Issei, with one single punch to the back, sent Hades flying down to the ground. As Hades hit the ground, it created a massive crater where Hades landed. Hades' entire body was broken to pieces as he was trying to stand, and then he starts speaking. <clears throat> if you kill me, my brother Zeus and his allies will come for your head, as well as every other god I was allied with, mortal. Issei, of course, was extremely unstable and didn't hear a single word that Hades was saying to him. Hades took advantage of this and started to form a huge energy ball to fire at Issei, but before he could, Issei would appear in front of his face and immediately started using Divine Dividing. Hades was drained of so much power already that he could barely even move and this made it 10 times worse. Hades was about to speak up again, but before he could even speak one word, Issei was clearly too unstable for communication. Before anything else, Issei formed a ball of annihilation and killed Hades in one blow. And just like that, Issei now killed two gods. And that is where we're going to stop for now. But before you leave... Don't go just yet, I wanted to announce a couple of things. So, if you guys want to see more images, ones like this, I am going to make them hopefully longer, but as I guys told you once before, these are just like shorts. So, basically what I mean by like shorts is like six to five minutes, seven minute videos of like custom images and made things like that, but I want them to like feel the battle and add the sound effects and do all the crazy things because I'm learning how to edit specifically. Thank you so much for the support. I can't think, what if Goku was too overpowered? Oh, by the way, if you guys want to join Limit Breaker or Balance Breaker, that'd be absolutely amazing. I'll shot my Balance Breakers in a minute here, but what if Goku was too overpowered? What if Issei was betrayed by everyone? Give me another what if Issei was betrayed title. It's basically the premise of the story is that he gets betrayed by pretty much everybody around him. I was going to put it what if Issei was betrayed by everyone, but I feel like that's kind of basic. I mean, I might just go with it instead, but just give me your opinion on it. So, thank you so much for the support. Can we please hit like 800 to 900 to even 1,000 likes? That'd be absolutely amazing to continue this series. This takes forever for me to do. Trust me. Thank you so much for the support. Remember, my Dragon Ball What If channel is Ant Popowski down in the description below. And let's go ahead and shout out my Balance Breakers. Rob the King, Lachlan Yates, Atomic Warlord 58, Crumbling Darkness Fear, Ant Lewis, The Beast YT3, Shade Fox, Jordan Ma Patchow, Mazaku, Doctor underscore MLG underscore is the bomb, Asimotus, Grimfire Shot Gamer, Keep Saying 21, Dragon Lord 003, and That Round Guy. Thank you so much for becoming a balance breaker. Once again, let's try to hit like a thousand likes. And without further ado, Spartanic Arts DXD out.